Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to work with PowerShell for network security groups. So I'm going to work from the cloud shell. So I'll simply click on here and switch to PowerShell instead of the bash. And once it is authenticated, I'm going to work on this. Let's say uh, from the portal, if you see here, I have uh, three different uh, network security groups are available. How would I list it? So the first command, what I'm going to do is get Azure security groups and I'm going to list them in the uh, completely select uh, with the name location format. So if you see here, I have multiple things. So I have multiple um, NSGs. In fact, uh, in the Azure portal, what I've done is I actually filtered with this. So without this, I would be getting more NSGs. So that's what I got the output here in a table format. I wanted to uh, filter a, a specific NSG and uh, find out you know what kind of rules for example maybe if I take it here somewhere uh, some of the NSG let's say for the subnet one so what I'm gonna do is I'll just paste the command line for the getting Azure RM network security group with the name of uh, which is matching this demo NSG alpha subnet one with a resource group name called alpha so from this alpha resource group this NSG I'm gonna get all the properties so if you see here it has different uh, LO traffic rules all that has been created and it is available so these are the default rules and uh, you can see here the port 3389 also enabled and if I just click on this specific one and go back to inbound rules 3389 and the ping also available and I should be able to see here all that information here ping response all that so that's how it's gonna work um, the command line so we use the get uh, Azure RM network security group with the security group name with the followed by a resource group name. If you want to create a new security group, all you have to do is use the command called new Azure RM network security group and give the network security group like in my case, I'm just giving test NSG3 and in my resource group called alpha and the location is South India. That's it. It's going to create in a minute. So if I just go back to my Azure portal and uh, here under if I just uh, filter with I uh, just wanted to filter with alpha because we are trying to create within the alpha. So you see here um, within this it's going to come up if I just try to do a refresh it will be in a minute or so it will come in fact in the back end it has already created all the th all the thing is like it has to show up within the Azure portal so I'll just do a quick refresh and see uh, test NSG3 is coming from the South India region and uh, that's how you're going to create with the command called new Azure RM network security group with the name and you just have to give the the name like here my test NSG name is test NSG 3 and my resource group name alpha so that's how you're going to create the specific NSG with the all the default rules and this information you can clearly see visible that it is actually creating all the inborn three rules and the outborn rules everything is the default but if you see here it's not associated with any of the network interfaces nor subnets because we didn't mention that now it's time for us to create some filtering rule of our allowing maybe let's say a protocol of 443 for a web server so how do you do that so for that uh, what we are trying to do is we will be creating a variable and that variable will contain the specific command called getting the uh, your security group called test NSG3 from your resource group. So once I executed that, it's going to store that value. And then I'm going to run an additional command from the NSG. That's the variable. So this is a getting uh, value. And on top of it, what I'm trying to do is I'm actually adding as your resource group allowing with HTTPS protocol description to allow 
and access the protocol TCP direction inborn priority should be the one which is just a priority one two one zero that's a thousand and from the internet and uh, again destination would be destination address so if I just enter this command it's gonna actually create a rule that will matching with the priority of one two one zero so if you see here this is the one two one zero I'm allowing a traffic for 443 from my NSG so you can check out this the rule has been created so I'll just open up and refresh test NSG 3 with the inborn rule so which is talking about the priority of 1210 which is allowing HTTPS uh, traffic so that's how you're gonna work and uh, even the description also come up so this is the command which you would be using to create the setting the uh, Azure security group role to remove an NSG we can use the command for remove hyphen as your RM network security group and give your uh, resource group as well as your NSG name that would actually delete everything so in my case I'm just deleting or with the confirmation that will delete this entire NSG if I just go ahead and refresh uh, that will go off in a minute so it's gone uh, that's how you're gonna actually delete it to de-associate an NSG that is already associated for example if you see here I have a virtual machine uh, with the VM01 and uh, this virtual machine also have NSG configured called NSG VNet1 so let's give it a try to how we can de-associate with the PowerShell so I'll just uh, open up my PowerShell once again and I'll, I'm gonna execute the command the required command as a first step I will store the values uh, within VNet variable from my alpha and alpha VNet which is this is my VNet which is um, which is got created so here if you see here this is a network called and this is a VNet called alpha hyphen VNet so I'm just trying to store this value with the get virtual network resource it uh, that's called alpha and the name of my vnet and followed by now i wanted to have my subnet so as we talked uh, within this we have the default as the subnet so let's store that value also uh, for that again i'm going to store in a command called uh, with a variable called subnet i'm going to store there as a default name and now it's time for me to set it to the null so i'll simply use a command uh, called uh, again for this also I'm gonna store here to the null value and the final command is uh, you can set Azure RM virtual network with virtual network uh, hyphen VNet so VNet has this so and that has been already valued so I'll just click on that so that's gonna set my value to none so in a minute uh, it has uh, created uh, if you see if I just go back here and do a quick refresh so this will go off completely virtual network and subnet and all the ports will be open for this VM so the commands has been executed so let's do a quick refresh and reload this page to see what happens so you see here this uh, is completely not coming anything because it has a de-associated the entire subnet so these commands that we used were completely de-associated with our existing subnet so if I just go back to my subnet of this VNet also the subnet is not associated uh, and now how we can associate it for the subnet so now we are going to associate with the PowerShell to associate we will be using very similar commands that we used uh, by storing the VNet value in a variable uh, for our resource name that's the alpha resource group as well as our virtual network and now it's time for us to store the subnet value so we can store the subnet value also and the subnet name is default uh, for alpha VNet and uh, 
next step would be to associate uh, for that we are actually storing the NSG uh, so this is my NSG network security group which we wanted to work on like NSG hyphen VNet hyphen subnet demo that's what we wanted to give it a try so I can simply uh, store that value here and the next step would be uh, to associate so we would be using the similar command like earlier what we used uh, to store that instead of the null value this time we are actually using this NSG that's nothing but your NSG hyphen VNet subnet demo and click on enter and now I'm going to execute the final command that's a setting the virtual machine uh, with the specific uh, VNet uh, which we have we wanted to associate with our network security group so it has run successfully if you get an error maybe authorization or some kind of an error that might be related to if you just open for a long time but you didn't you know pasted the values you might get some kind of an error stating uh, maybe the session has timed out or something like that so if I just go back to the same uh, NSG and if I just go back to subnets this time it will be associated with the default uh, subnet which is coming from your virtual network alpha vnet that's what we have done uh, with these commands if you really want to learn more about Azure PowerShell just go to the specific URL uh, which I'm gonna paste it here and uh, this has every information that really needed let's say if you want to you know work with uh, some kind of a you know, tutorial for the creation of the VM or maybe a cloud shell specific how to connect all that uh, very useful information is already available within this uh, specific URL and please try to uh, use as a reference for any kind of PowerShell documentation or PowerShell commands that you wanted to use because it's really hard for everyone to remember everything so when you wanted uh, more documentation just go ahead and read this and then work around it let's say for this lab what we can do is for the reference purpose I can just go here for my references and if you're referring for the Azure CLI this is where you have to go and in my case for this lecture it's going to be Azure PowerShell so just click on that PowerShell and just look for again the reference one more time uh, so that you get the actual reference this time if you see here and within this uh, we are referring to the networking so let's see uh, just go to networking and uh, you have all the network specific commands and out of that we were trying to work with a command called uh, remove example uh, so just go to the remote specific like remote NAT or remote network interface or maybe a remove Azure RM so that's an additional command that uh, maybe you know you might be you know, using so it all depends what command you are actually trying to reference here let's say we try to use maybe a remote as your RM network so if I don't get it I'll simply go here and filter uh, that specific command uh, and simply search for that so I get it here the proper reference from the so if I just click on that it's gonna take it to the same reference document uh, within this so you see here under references we were going back to the networking and within that networking I do have here the commands so that's how it's gonna work and uh, just always go and refer this documentation and these are the commands always keep on updating that would be good always to refer them and use the syntax how to use even the examples all that and based on that you can use it i hope this entire lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this